about six months ago, they call me and they tell me that my dad's sister, baby, baby, my aunt, uh, is passing. She's only got a couple days to live. And this woman was like, she's my, you know, my aunt. She's been, you know, such a great, great force in my life. Like she's always there when I needed her, you know, whether it was financial problems, legal problems, she always showed up. Baby, baby was a warrior. She had, uh, two sons that are my two cousins that are still on death row right now um, yeah. for killing their dad uh who was abusive you know but she's uh she was just you know she's been through hell and back baby baby's you know she's been at the bottom of the barrel grinded her way up hustled her whole life scratch clawed you know been in terrible relationships you know um, and she's just, she was a survivor. So they call me and they tell me, baby, baby's passing. She's only got a couple of days. She might not make it through the night. So I go over there and I see her and her spirit is just one that I hope that I have in my final days. You know, her son was like, mama, this is the most I've seen, seen you eat in days. And she goes, it's the last supper, motherfucker. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So it's just that uh that spirit, you know, and I'm like, baby, baby, what are you doing? She's like, hey, I am. I'm just waiting to see what's on the other side of this door, baby, baby. You know. <laughs> so uh, that's why we called her baby baby, because she always like, Oh yeah, baby, baby. Like that's how she talks. So um but so we're sitting there and I've got my arm around baby baby. And like I said, this woman's been a uh, very 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 powerful force in my life like a rock i mean never gave up on me you know um i would want my daughters to strive to be as strong as this woman she's been through hell and back and uh never gave up never lost hope you know always just been a fighter uh and never took shit from anybody, you yeah. know? I literally pulled up to her house before and she's sitting out by her pool and there's bullet holes all in the window. I'm like, baby, baby what in the hell happened? She was like, oh, that motherfucker, talking about her husband, Cluck. That motherfucker, he got to talking shit. I tried to get his ass up out of here. You know, she's just, <laughs> she's a fighter, bro. But so I got my arm around baby, baby, and I'm hugging her and I, I know it's gonna be the last time I ever see her. And my other aunt says, hey, your uncle's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. And this is uh, uncle of mine, uh, my uncle Paul. He was military, came back super fucked up, um, drinking heavy, got into a bar fight, stabbed a guy in the eye with his thumb, um, you know, went to prison, in and out of jails, drinking heavy, then gave his life to God and quit drinking, built a huge uh, rock company, like Riverbed Rock and stuff, Delivering Rock. Built a huge company, he's done great for himself. Uh, but I haven't talked to him and, you know, I was in prison for five years, I've been home for six. Don't think I've talked to him since I've been home. You know, been a while. And uh, so he gets on the phone, I'm sitting here on the phone, speaker phone, and he's, starts crying. I'm like, what's going on, Paul? And he's just mumbling. I can't understand what he's saying because he's so like frantic. And I'm looking around the room and I'm feeling the energy change, right? And I look at, I look around, I'm like, what is he saying? And my cousin goes, something he shouldn't be fucking talking about. So I kind of, I kind of, at that moment, I'm like, okay. I'm like, Paul, what are you saying? And he was like, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but baby baby's the one that killed your dad. And I've got my arm around her, you know? And it was one of those moments where it tested everything that I've been through in life. I didn't feel any different about baby baby. Whatever reason that she killed my dad uh, 31 years ago, I don't know. I wasn't there, you know. 
Um, of course, I wish you wouldn't have done it. I miss my dad. I love my dad. Um, he was my fucking hero. You know, my life would have been completely different with him in it. But here I am right now. I wouldn't change anything that happened in my life. Any hard time, any decision that I made at this point, I wouldn't change it because it all led for me to be right here where I'm at right now, doing what I love to do, having a testimony to share with others. But it was that, that moment where, you know, 10 years ago, I might not have been in the same place. You know, I might have fucking choked her out and killed everybody in the damn house. Yeah. You know, um, but I didn't feel any different about her. And <laughs> she was such a gangster. She didn't budge. She didn't make a face. She didn't move. You know, like when he said that out loud, the whole room got silent. And I just said, Paul, we're not here to talk about that right now. Now's not time. She passed that night. Um, you know, and I don't know what the reason was. You know, it could have been a, a numerous things. Do you think Paul knows the reason? They all did. Yep. And, I, and, and you know what? As much, because we, you know, there's two brothers, and there was two brothers, two sisters um, to my dad. Might be more that I'm missing, just not thinking right now, but in the tight circle. And I don't hold it against any of them. I know that at this point I've had, you know, conversations with a, a few other people and it was one of those moments where it was like, damn, we just lost our brother. We don't want to lose our sister. Whatever the instance was, if it was an accident, if it was, you know, heat of the moment, if they were arguing, gun went off, whatever it was. Uh, it was definitely um, something that they all made a pact wow. and held on to, which I, I respect, you know. Um, and, you know, it sucks that I'll never know what really happened. Like, I would have loved to have had one more day with her to just say, hey, baby, look, I'm not mad at you. I just want to know what happened, you know. Like, like what what to bring some closure to myself, which closure was already met because when I was told that he didn't die from a suicide, that was closure from that one chapter where I was suicidal my whole life, thinking yeah. that living with that regret and thinking that I could have changed that. But then when my uncle told me that he had been killed, then you got another 20 years where I'm like revengeful and like, well, who killed him? I want to know, like, what was it? You know, my dad was a hustler. He had I found out he had made, he had won $8,500 gambling that night. He was going through a divorce with my little brother's mom. Um, you know, was there somebody that was jealous behind that? Did they rob him? Like, you know, so then finding out that it was her did bring closure to that second, you know, time period of living with revenge. Cause now I don't have revenge, you know. I got rid of the regret, then I got rid of the revenge. So it brought me to a, a place of just utter peace with that situation um, that, you know, tormented me since I was 10 in different, different ways and different aspects, making me suicidal, making me violent, making me seek revenge, um, guilt, you know, so definitely close the chapters, you know, close it was some really great closure. I would love to just, know, I would have loved to know, yeah. you know, what really happened that night. But, um, it, it is good to, you know, have that. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.